Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing part 1A of a question from a subscriber on how do I make a mold for a specific size weight hook? To make the Nedrig mold copies, what you're going to need is a scale to weigh some stuff. I recommend getting some wood dolls. This is a package I got from Walmart. It's multi-size, so you can choose kind of which size you want. You're going to need a calculator. You're going to need something to measure, something that's got some pretty good accuracy to it. Uh, this, the calipers are a great way to go. You're going to need some super glue. I'm going to use some baking soda. You can use some um, wood filler if you want. You're also going to need your hook, and this is a jig head hook. Definitely going to need something to Right on and that should be about it for now. Of course you're gonna need some cutting tools and some sanding tools but that's what you're gonna need to do this project. So what we're gonna do first we're gonna do the volume of the lead that we want. We're gonna find the density of the wood that we're gonna to use to mold and then we're going to find the weight of the wood that we need to replace the volume of lead. So one of the first steps we're gonna do is we're gonna be working in grams instead of ounces so we're gonna take the ounce that we want and we're going to convert it to grams. This is just a conversion table for you, for your convenience. It's 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter, 1 half, 3 8 and 3 quarters. And the 1 8 is what I'm looking for, so I'm going to use this number right here for the grams. And that's going to be our mass. This becomes our mass. We'll color code it for you guys. So now we need our density. What we want to find is the density of our lead. And that is a simple chart that you can look up. This is the density of lead, 11.342, and this is in grams per centimeters cubed. So our next uh, unit of measurement is going to be centimeters. We're going to stay in centimeters because it's just simple. Uh, we can convert it back to inches, but I recommend doing it at the, at the very end. All right, so now that all that's left is a simple calculation, and I'll set it up here. This is our calculation. So again, like I said, you find the ma mass that you want in grams, and we're going to put it up here. So I was going with an eighth. So it's 3.544, and we're going to divide it by the density of lead at 11.342. Now, if you had 10, you could look up the density for 10. Or if you're going with something like tungsten, if you know how to cast that, you could find the density of tungsten, which is going to be heavier. But this is our equation for now. Uh, and if you're using lead, you can just go ahead and use that number. Like I said, I set all these numbers up for you. Uh, hopefully one of those is what you're looking for. If not, you can simply just convert it online. So if you work out the equation, the volume comes out to be 0.312 centimeters cubed. This is again the volume of lead we would be required to get one eighth of an ounce of weight. Step one is actually all you need to do if you're doing a simple shape like a cylinder or a rectangle uh, or a mean a cube or something. Um, if you're doing a simple shape, you can stop at this part because it's easy to calculate. However, if you're doing something that's uh, rounded, like a, a partially rounded or domed head and you're hand rounding it, uh, we're not gonna get exact calculations on that hand round. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and proceed to step two and three uh, to see what we need to cut that wood down to weight wise in order to match what it should be in lead. So we're moving on to step two and step two is the density of the wood. Now what I want you to do is to forget everything you did on step one. This does not apply to anything you do on step two. Even though we have a very similar equation, it's just rearranged. We have the density is equal to the mass over the volume, but this is totally different. The mass is not the mass over here and the volume is not the volume over here. So Ignore everything you did at step one. What we're going to do is to get the mass, we're going to simply weigh the wood. To get the volume, we're going to measure the wood. So for the mass, we're simply going to weigh the wood. In grams, it comes out to be 1.266. Now we're going to measure the wood. All right, to find the volume of our piece of wood, what we're going to do is take 3.14, divide it by four, and then we're going to multiply it by the diameter times the diameter, or the diameter squared. So we know the diameter. Oh, and then we're going to also multiply it by the length. My bad. So the diameter using our calipers in millimeter. So it's 7.6263, somewhere in there. Millimeters, so we're gonna go ahead and convert that to centimeters right away and we just move the decimal point and that is 0.763 centimeters. Now we're gonna measure that length, 39.18. We're gonna say 39.2, 3.920. This is gonna be 0 0.785 and you can just go ahead and throw that in there. You won't ever have to calculate that. We got our big long equation, we just need to multiply it all out, and then we'll get our volume. If you calculate this out, 1.791 centimeters cubed is our volume. So now all we do is have to finish up the density calculation. Again, our density of the wood is 1.265 divided by 1.791, which gives us 0 0.706. 
and then it's grams per centimeters cubed. So now we're moving on to step three. And step three, what we are doing is we're going to find the weight of the wood that replaces the weight of the lead that we want. So basically this tells us what we need to shave down the piece of wood to in order for it to match the one eighth of an ounce of lead weight that we want. So to do this, we're gonna do the mass of the wood is equal to density of the wood and the volume found in step one. So now this is where we go back to step one. Uh, so I actually have step two here. I'm gonna multiply that by step one. This is the results from step two and the results from step one. So we just simply multiply those out and we'll get the weight of the wood that we need. So this is pretty simple, here we go. All right, so the mass of the wood that we want, we're gonna take, like I said, 0 0.706, which is from step two. And we're gonna multiply that by 0 0.312, which is from step one. And that is pretty simple to do, just use a calculator mass of wood that we need is 0 0.220 grams and this is what I ended up with so what I did is I rounded the top and because I rounded this top I no longer had a straight cylinder to calculate that volume from so I had to figure out how much weight I needed so what I did is I kept sanding this piece of wood down until I got to the weight this 0 0.220 grams and then I cut my slot out and glued it onto the hook and then I just filled in the gaps of where I cut the slot out but that will give us the weight that one eighth of an ounce jig head that goes on top of this. So this is our goal. We're gonna cut this piece of wood down to 0 0.221 grams. So how do we go about doing that, you ask? So we're gonna go about 8.09. Couple different ways we're gonna do this. This might be easier. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So what I basically am doing, lining up the doll with my calipers here. I'm just using a knife to score it. So I know where it's at. So basically this line right here is what we're going to cut down to. And then we'll round it off and we'll weigh it until, and we'll keep sanding it off and rounding it off until it's to the weight we need it. So I got my razor saw. It's great for making these fine cuts. All right, so there's my little piece. I'm definitely gonna have to sand that. Let's just see where we're at. So 286, so we're pretty darn close already. Remember we gotta get down to 0.221, we're at 0.286. So I've got the head rounded like I want it. Now we're gonna see how much it weighs. So I need to cut off quite a bit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna sand from the bottom since it is Round it at the top like I want. I'll just take the bottom off until I'm down to that 0 0.221. 0 0.229, I need to be at 0 0.221. 323, we're gonna take off just a little bit more. Wait, wait, no way. All right, so it is ready to be hooked. So I've marked the line kind of where I wanna put the hook in. I'm gonna use my Fordham tool here to cut it in. Just gonna take it slow. Test spinning the hook. Check it out some, make sure it's sitting right. All right, there it is. So there. And see there yeah there's my eighth ounce jig head for the Ned rig so now I can super glue it on super glue it in place there it is jig head is super glued on uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put some s sanding sealer on it I'll probably polish it off so it's a little smoother and I'll come back to this once I'm ready with my inline spinner bait body. I'll show you, I'll have a video on making that body as well.